I do believe this is our economic dignity moment. Martin Luther King said in 1968 uh, that someday our nation would come to see that the sanitation worker was as essential as the physician to our public health. That might have seemed like an ideal, but man, boy, can people feel it now. But Martin Luther King also said in that same speech, what good is it to win the right to sit at an integrated lunch counter if you can't afford to buy your family a meal? And so while I think the applause and calling these essential workers heroes is touching, it's moving, I think it will be ultimately seen as empty if we do not ensure they have the economic provisions and the economic power to live and work and retire with respect and economic dignity. And I think when you see the administration fighting against broader paid sick leave for people caring for our sick, when you see them resisting hazard pay in a living wage, when you see them trying to close down the affordable hair, uh, the, the ACA exchanges, when so many millions of people are going to be losing their health care through their jobs. And again, ordering people back to work without respect for whether they will be safe and can be safe for their family. That is the ultimate in treating people as if they are just means to an end, uh, a profit end, uh, a stock market end, and not about their intrinsic value. And so I think he's failing miserably on pursuing economic dignity. But my hope is that this moment in our country where people are having such respect for all work will allow the movement for I hope a Biden presidency to say, let's have a new New Deal for workers. Let's have a new economic dignity compact for all work that ensures you can work, raise your family and retire with dignity. Mm -hmm.